Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing two different holiday winter inspired looks using Odin's Eye Cosmetics and I'm also going to be sharing with you my favorite items for their Black Friday sales. So if you're interested in that, then let's get going. Today's video is very, very kindly sponsored by Odin's Eye. If you don't know them or you've never heard of them, then you haven't been watching me because I've featured their products in my videos in the past many, many a times. So I'm always really excited to actually work with Odin's Eye because it is a brand that I genuinely love, I genuinely use. I've created many looks that I absolutely love with their products. They definitely are one of my favorite brands that I've discovered this year. So it's always really exciting when I get to partner with them. So the plan is, okay, I did two fun looks to just kind of show you how the products work talk about what my favorite products are and then we are going to finish off the video with my overall recommendations and my personal picks if you don't know odin's eye they are a company whose makeup is inspired by nordic mythology they are a swedish brand and i love their packaging that's one of the best parts about this brand i mean they have great formulas don't get me wrong but the packaging is really what made them stand out to me at first and really made me want to try their products because it's such a unique concept and I think in the makeup industry we're always so bored with all of the repetition that we see and I really feel like with Odin's Eye they have a very unique vision and they execute their vision very well so if you're into supporting smaller indie brands I think this is a great company to look into I'm always about introducing you guys to new companies so this is one that has excited me for months and if you watch me regularly you know that. But their Black Friday sale is going to be 40% off the entire site, which is incredible. I will make sure that I link that down below for you guys. I do have a code that will save you 10%, I believe. So that is an affiliated code. So when you do purchase from that code, I do earn a small commission from that. So don't feel obligated to do that, but you save money. I save money. So thank you so much to Odin's Eye for sponsoring today's video. The first look that we are gonna do is this gorgeous sky blue ice princess kind of look. So let's just get into it. Okay, so for this first look, I wanted to go full on ice princess on you. So you can really create some fun looks with this brand. Make sure since we are playing with blues that you've powdered up to help the fallout. I'm gonna go into the Alva 2 eyeshadow palette. This is such an incredible palette if you are a color lover. You have so many different textures and dimensions within the shadow, and we are going to go with blue P Fowl, and I'm gonna use that as my crease color. And this look, by the way, is using really minimal amount of colors. I believe I have like three different colors, four different eyeshadow colors that I'm using for today's look. So it's really kind of a minimal eyeshadow look to get such a gorgeous effect. So I'm really gonna work on blending this out. I don't want it to be too deep. I only applied a really light layer because I want just this really light background haze of blue, just like this. So one of their more recent launches, they came out with a few Alva 2 Mini Oceans palettes, though I love their big palettes. These are really great for a curated kind of color story if you're looking for a certain look. So we're gonna go with into the Ocean palette and I'm gonna go in with this dark blue. Now this is not a matte shade. This is actually a more satiny, shimmery kind of finish. So that's why it's really important that we powder because you will get a lot of fallout sometimes when you use a shimmery shade as kind of this crease color. And I'm just applying this to the inner and outer corners of the eye. Make sure that you leave the center of the lid blank. Otherwise, it's not gonna look like we want it to look. Before we get to the center of the lid, I'm going to go back into Blue P Fowl over here. And I'm gonna run this along my entire lower lash line. Get messy with it if you would like. And then we're gonna go back into under the C, the darker color that we used. And we're gonna apply this along the lower lash line. So now we can kind of clean up 
that fallout, that powder is going to be the reason that you don't look sick and tired. It's going to help keep the under eye bright despite the fallout. Okay, now we're going to go back into this special palette. Now, I don't recommend this palette for everybody, but it's gorgeous for blue looks. So I'm going to start off with this shimmery shade. And this is what's going to give that ice princess kind of look. I love, 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 love this formulation from Odin's Eye. And th this is not a formulation that you can get in their big palettes. So that's what gonna, is going to make these little guys special. This formula is specific to these little palettes. And then I'm going to go into the lighter half now, which is going to make the center of the lid even more glitzy. So do you see that really fine shimmer really a very special gorgeous formula and then i'm gonna take whatever's left and run it all the way up to the brow bone oh this is so fun obviously not a look for everybody but i love it so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do liner lashes and then bronzer and then we'll be back to play with blush highlighter and lips so Odin's Eyes has, I want to say, six different blush colors, and I just love the packaging. How adorable, and I think today we have something a little bit more plummy. I think I want to go with this color. So this is Apricot Girl. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous apricot shade. And I really do enjoy the formula of their blushes. As you can see, they do have some pigmentation to them but they are so very easy to blend out so they will show up on an array of skin tones but they aren't going to get splotchy or be difficult to work with because you can see that blush color just worked itself out they really do have a nice formula and i just think they are so cute to bring around with you look how much color that added i love it now for highlighter, I have this gorgeous highlight palette. This is the Alva 2 highlighter palette. First of all, look how cute the pans are. So of course I have to go in with the icy blue since we are ice princesses today. So I'm gonna start off by using the icy blue highlight in the inner corner just to really brighten up the eyes and complete this stunning look. And then I'm gonna Use the blue highlight kind of sparingly because I feel like sometimes blue highlights can look a little bit crazy and frosty and kind of make me look dead. So I'm really going to work on blending this out into the skin. So their highlight palettes have a lot of different colors, not ones that you would normally wear for a highlight. So they are very unique in color. And for lips, this is my all-time favorite lip product from Odin's Eye. This is the one lip product I would recommend the most. This is the uh, Cream Lip Stain in Little Jasmine. Like it's such a pretty wearable lip color. It's so natural. I haven't had a lip product that smells like this. This is a very unique smell. So if you're gonna get one lip product from them, I definitely recommend this one. I love the color, I love the tone, and it's super wearable. So here is the first look. I really wanted to play with some color from this collection and get kind of a very icy look. And I absolutely love it. I'm, of course, most impressed by this glittery finish all over the lid. I think it is so stunning. So love this look. Okay, so for look number two, we're going for like red hot lips very simple eye kind of look so a traditional holiday look that i typically do some type of tutorial every year on so i'm quickly gonna just blend out the concealer on my eyelid i didn't mean to but i have to go back into alba too i wanted to use a different palette but i want to use the shade apricot because it's kind of a neutral mustard color so i feel like it's going to give off good almost golden vibes was my goal with this shadow and I'm basically like kind of putting it everywhere, even on the eyelid, in the crease, along the lower lash line with this fat brush. This is a blinged brush F17, by the way, in case you're curious. So just a really light wash of that yellow kind of color. And then the next color that I want, again, this is just like a two shadow look. 
This is the original Alba eyeshadow palette. This is definitely for more of you neutral lovers. And I'm going into the shade Golden Tulip. Now this is a more lid toppery kind of shade. So it just is about more so of the finish that it gives. So that's why I put that golden shade all over because this is just gonna give a really nice light sparkle all over the lid. That's gonna be really nice, subtle still for the holidays, but still a little bit extra glam. So that is all I'm going to do for the eyes. Actually, no, no, let me not be so boring. I'm gonna go into just a little bit of Peony, which is a deep plum shade. This again is also in the regular Alva palette and I'm just using a touch. I'm just gonna run it right out here, just like that. Just for a little added definition so that it's not quite so bright on the eyes but nothing too crazy. And it's a little bit berry, which I think is gonna play really well with kind of that holiday kind of vibe. But that's it, no more, that's all we're gonna do. Okay, so now what's the most important part is gonna be the liner and lashes. So I'm gonna do a nice wing and then some nice lashes because I do want the eyelid to really focus on the shimmer. And then we will be back, blush, highlights, and lips. For blush, I'm going to use Little Jasmine. This is probably my favorite blush. I feel it's the most neutral, so it goes with the most. So again, you do get a lot of payoff, but it blends out really, really easily. So use a light hand. For highlight, I'm going into the Salmaine highlighter palette. This is the first highlighter palette that they came out with. And I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This palette has a little bit more neutral tones compared to the other highlighter palette. So I recommend this one more. It still has this fun blue one. But for the most part, this one is more kind of natural. Which it really isn't, but honestly. It has really, really cool tones in here that I love. And I'm going to pop just a bit of this one on the center as well because this one is a little bit more golden put some in the inner corner as well so for lips i wanted to have a red lip option for the holidays so i am using the matte lip stain in red apple so these are more of a stain and these are perfect for my mask wearers because if you put just a little bit on and use your finger to blur it out, it does not transfer on your mask. So these in general are a great formula. Since this is red, I do have to go a little bit more heavy with it. Ugh, but I really love this formula in the times of COVID. Do be more responsible than me though and moisturize your lips beforehand. I really love this color. Here is the final holiday look. I really, really love this one so much. I'm definitely gonna wear this one for the rest of the day. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorials. I just wanted to kind of give you guys a preview and show you how the products worked. But now I wanna talk with you about my favorite products, the ones that I recommend the most that you pick up during this sale. Really, I don't think I've tried a bad product from Odin's Eye, but there definitely are some that I reach for the most. And hands down, it has to be both of the Alva palettes. So we have, of course, the original Alva palette, and this one is gonna be more for you new neutral wearers so that's the one where i'm wearing golden talipa this golden shade all over my eyelid so this one is really great if you're into berry tones leaning a little bit more neutral so i do like this one a lot i feel like you get a lot more dimension and texture in this particular palette now I also really, really love the Alba 2 eyeshadow palette. As you saw, I dug into it for both looks because I just love it so much. Now, this is not going to be for everybody. I think, obviously, if you aren't going to wear colors like this, then you don't need this palette. I've created a multitude of looks using this palette. On my channel, I had like a gorgeous orange look. I've done a crazy blue-green look. Um, and then I pulled from this for the blue look. So if you like colors and you're going to wear this one, 
definitely recommend this one, especially, especially, especially at 40% off. You genuinely will really love it. This is a great price, but definitely these two are my most used from the brand. As far as blushes go, the one that I reach for the most hands down is Little Jasmine. It's this neutral color right here, and it's really gorgeous because it looks so good with every single look because it's not really bright, but it gives you color to the face. If you're into brighter blushes though, I also really enjoy Ripe Papaya. I think it's a banging color as well. As far as the lips go, if you are a regular mask wearer, you need to, need to, need to try their matte lip stains. I suggest just blotting a little bit out on your lips and then it's not going to stain your masks. I will link a video down below where I tried on all of these colors so that you can see how they look on me. But as far as the cream lip stains, the Little Jasmine is my absolute favorite. The colors in the cream lip stains are very, very bright, so Little Jasmine's gonna be the most wearable. And you know, they do have a lot of other great products that I do recommend. We have the Soulmain eyeshadow palette. I love this pop of purple here. There's some unique formulas in there. And I like their highlighter palettes. They're a bit too out there for me. I'm a very neutral highlighter girl, so I would say that's probably why it's not in my top, top recommendations, but they have very cute highlighter palettes. And I did demo for you the mini Alva palettes, honestly, for 40% off. I really just recommend getting the big palettes. I think those are a little bit more worth while but these are really great as well if you want more of a curated look all right you guys so that is all i have for today's video and i hope that helped you make decisions if you were planning on purchasing from this sale i think for me for black friday i'm definitely focusing on purchasing from the indie brands because their sales really are the best during Black Friday. So this is another great indie brand to check out. So again, thank you so much to Odin's Eye for working with me on today's video. And I will see you guys in the next one. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you later.